Hey! Hi, everyone. I forgot where I was for a second. It's Herm! It's so good to see you. So, welcome to episode 10 of Art Class with Herm. If this is your first time here, nice to meet you. I'm Herm. I'm the one guy here in the room, so I'm easy to talk to. Don't worry, I don't bite. But, uh, so if you stumbled across us, uh, our class with Herm, this is where we'll do, we'll spend about 30 to 40 minutes and we draw baseball related drawings to help everyone deal with our quarantine time inside and to bring a couple smiles to our faces. Sounds pretty good, right? So we're going to be doing this uh, Wednesdays and Fridays starting at noon for uh, the foreseeable future until school starts back up and or baseball comes back. But anyway, so welcome. You, this, Like I said, this is our 10th episode, so there's nine more previous. I told you you came here for some other than art lessons, right? That's a little math. Uh, you can view all of these classes on our brand new domain, our site at artclasswithherm.com. Pretty cool. So you can go to artclasswithherm.com and you will see a YouTube playlist of all of the other classes that we did. Uh, the Mr. Met drawings, Bobby Valentine, the Andy Chavez catch, and, and many more, which is pretty cool. You can also check these on uh, the Seven Lines social media posts. You can zoom back for that. But I think artclasswithherm.com is probably the easiest way to do it. So thank you for that. I thought that was pretty cool on there. So what did we do last week? So last week, or Wednesday, I, I should say, we drew, I'm having such a brain fart again. Oh, we drew, it was Earth Day. I got to write that down on my notes. So we had, it was Earth Day. We drew Mr. Met hugging the Earth, which was really awesome. We had a really good response for that. We had a lot of people draw along with us, which is pretty cool. So like we do every class, we throw a, a, a nod to some of our drawings that we thought were really awesome. So this is no different. So uh, big, big shout outs to Connor, Nicholas, and Caitlin. So these were a couple of the drawings that were sent to us that were tagged uh, Herm's terms or uh, Herm Herman or the seven line. And we looked at them, loved them, and we're going to hook them up with a $10 gift card so they can pick up anything at the sevenline.com website, which are pretty cool. Awesome. So let's see. So it's April 24th, 2020. So if you're watching this in the future, woo! It's, not, it's raining out in New York. I'm coming from you in a new part of my apartment. This is my home studio, which is kind of fun. So uh, bear, bear with any like inconsistencies. I got my doors here and stuff. So as we grow, maybe I'll get cooler stuff on my walls. So anyway, cool. So let's talk about the supplies that we're going to need for today. So today, as we're going to start our drawing, uh, we're just going to be using standard piece of paper. I'm going to be using an 8.5 by 11 sheet that I got from my printer on here. Um, you can use crayons or markers and pens, all that sort of thing. There are real no rules on here. So if you really wanted to try like maybe painting, like with acrylic paint and stuff like that, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to do our drawing. So you can absolutely do that with, with a brush as well. All right. Enough of me talking. Let's talk about what we're going to be drawing today. All right. So today we're going to be drawing Met favorite Jacob de Grom. Pretty neat, right? So Jacob deGrom, as of now, is a two-time Cy Young Award winner, two times in a row, which is pretty awesome. So there's always a bright spot in our Met seasons, too, which is pretty cool. So um, if you've ever been to the ballpark and seen uh, Jacob pitch, it's pretty awesome. So I recommend, next, if you ever get the chance, whenever baseball season starts up, to check out a game. It's really, really fun. The energy is intense. Cool. So, like I said, we're going to be drawing this step by step on here. So, we'll be walking it into shape. So, that we're going to be doing the brim, the hat, and then kind of walk our way down into the legs right here. So, don't worry again. I'll walk you through step by step how to do this. Cool. Let me grab myself a piece of paper. Throw that one on the ground, man. All right. <laughs> this is why you come here for our class with Herm to have a good time. All right. You guys ready? All right, so I'm going to be drawing with my Pentel brush pen here, which is pretty fun. It's my favorite thing to draw with. And so I'm going to be drawing my paper. It's going to be horizontally, so my paper is going to be like sideways. So again, this is vertical, up and down. We're going to be doing ours horizontally side to side. This is because Jacob de Grom has like that really long stride when he pitches. So we're going to use the, the full paper in this. All right, so what we're going to draw first is we're going to draw the hat. Now. If you have joined us in some of our other drawing classes, we're going to be drawing the hat just a little bit different on this because I think it's going to kind of be like a little bit easier overall. But let me show you what I mean. So our first mark, I'm going to, so my head's going to be like right here in this part of the paper, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw this like kind of like a bump line. 
Let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to come in. I'm going to come down and then up like this. So basically my point with this is, I'm bringing it a little closer. So my line, it like goes down and then comes up. You see what I mean? We kind of drew that a little bit with our other hats. These are where we're gonna get a little different. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna connect this part here to this part there. So I'm gonna start on the left. I'm gonna come up with this little bump and then correct it like that right there. So we kind of have this like, I don't know how you would describe it, maybe like a triangle kind of shape or something. All right, so now this is gonna be the brim of our hat right there, right? So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make like a big like half circle. It's gonna come across and this is gonna be the top part of the hat. So I'm gonna come up kind of like in the middle of this shape that we made. So something like right here, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna stop like right there. So now we have this like really rounded out kind of hat on there, right? Awesome. So I'm gonna add that little button on the top there. I gotta write down the name of that. I learned that the other day and I gotta write it down. So next class, I promise I'll have that. So you can kind of see this is what we're working with right now. You can see we kind of have that brim of the hat, that little curve at the top and that little, little bump, that little button at the top. All right. So now that we have this kind of laid out in here, let's go ahead and let's draw in our ear. So I'm gonna draw my ear right here in this little area right there. So what I'm gonna do, this is how I draw it. So I'm gonna come up with this curve. I'm gonna stop like that. So it's kind of like a an upside down letter J that I drew right there. All right. So now I'm gonna draw a very similar shape, but I'm gonna come down a little bit. I'm just gonna connect it like this. So now you can see there, I kind of have like a, like an upside down number three for the ears. So let me add a little bit of detail in there. So I'm gonna come up at the top. I'm just gonna add this little curve line and then that other little curve line right there, just like this. Let me show you what I mean and pull it a little closer. So something like that right there. You see that ear? You see how it's kind of like the number three, but upside down. And then at the top there, what I did, that little line, it, if you guys touch your ears real quick, you feel those folds in it, right? That's kind of like what we're drawing there, just a little detail. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect this spot, this part of the hat to the brim a little bit. So I'm just gonna take a line. Draw it like that. Excellent, cool. Yeah, so let me know how this looks with our new lighting setup in our new room. Let us know in the comments if you like it. Cool, all right. So let's kind of work a little bit, little bit. So Jacob's got a little bit of hair that comes out. He doesn't have those long flowing locks like he used to have. You know, he's, he's a dad. He's cut his hair down a little bit, looking a little more mature. So what we'll do is I'll take it here. I'm gonna take a couple lines and I'm just gonna throw these little curved lines back there in the back. You see that there? Little curved lines in the back right there, just to make a little bit of hair. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the ear, just a little bit to make a little bit of a sideburn. So the main thing with this is like, I didn't fill it in all the way. I left a little bit of white in there, like a little bit of space. Because what we can do in there is when we color it, we can add that in and give him a little bit of his color of his hair. All right, so we're getting somewhere. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to the ear here and I'm just gonna draw this kind of line. Something like this right there. So this is like going to be his like cheekbone a little bit, like his jawline, all right? And that's just to give a little def definition. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over on the other side of our face because, you know, obviously this is one side. Let's put the other one in. I'm going to start at the brim of my hat and I'm going to come out. And then I'm going to build this like kind of the side of our face right here. So you can, kind of, there's a lot of ways to draw this, but what I did is I imagine it's like, so here's his eyebrows, right? So you look like your, when you look at your eyes, there's kind of like the eyebrow, it's like a little bump. And then it comes in a little bit. That's where your eye or your eyeball would be. And this would be your cheek coming around. And then this would be like the bottom part, like your chin. So I know I'm touching my beard right now. I know that does nothing for my chin, but you can imagine <laughs> where your chin would be kind of right there, right? All right. So now we have a head. Let's go in and let's add his nose. So what I'm going to do with the nose, I'm going to show you a different way we're going to draw a little bit. So I'm gonna draw it quick and then I'll bring it up to the camera so you guys can see what I mean. So I'm gonna come where I want my nose in the middle of my face, right? 
So I'm gonna take this line and I'm gonna come down and then I'm gonna bump up and twist. So you can see right there, it's kind of like I drew an upside down heart, but didn't finish it all the way. So you can see on this part right here, this would be like the bridge of the nose. That's the part that like connects to your eyes. It's closest, right? So that comes down, then it bumps around right there. And then this is just the side of the nostril. Cool, right? That's an easy way to draw a nose. You can do that with all of your drawings too. All right. So now when Jacob's throwing this, this pitch in our drawing right here, he's very like, he's thinking about it. He's serious, right? So we're going to give him like a serious kind of mouth. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of like bend down on the left and then kind of flatten it out, something like this. So you can see I drew like a straight line, but it's kind of folded down on the left a little bit, right? And underneath, I'm going to draw just a little, another little line right underneath that to show like a little bit of the bottom lip. So now if you want to draw Jacob DeGrom with a big smile on his face, you're more than welcome to. I just kind of drew it like that. I thought it was kind of a fun little mark. All right. So Jacob's got a, he's got a little bit of a beard, right? So to do that, I'm just going to take maybe a, right along the jawline here. I'm just going to put a little couple little dots. Nothing too big because you just got a little bit of a stubble there, like a five o'clock shadow. And I'll pop those in right there. So this is fun. So I put... You know, you want to have a little bit of on the top lip there and a little bit on the bottom. So nothing too crazy, just a couple of little dots right there to give that little bit of a, a five o'clock shadow on there. So when we color in our drawing towards the end right there, that'll be a nice little bit of detail. All right. So now that we have our head and our nose and our mouth, I'm going to leave out the eyes for this just to give it like, you know, more stern kind of look in there. But if you wanted to add them, you're more than welcome to. But I, once, once this comes together, I think it'll be nice like this. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the neck so it's not just this floating head, right? So our neck, it's going to come up to like just to the left of the ear. So I'm going to come down. And then I'm going to twist it like this. Because he's throwing, right? So he's like, there's kind of like this sideways motion to his body. So that's why his neck isn't like straight on. It's kind of to the side a little bit. So again, I just came up in the side. And I came down, rolled around, and then connected it up there. All right. So now that we got our head in there, it's kind of fun, right? <laughs> so what we're going to do now is let's start to draw his body. So when we're drawing this, his body is like, it's kind of turned because he's throwing. He's going in that motion, right? So that's why his body is going to be a little, a little turned a little bit. So this is going to be our end drawing. So we just drew this head part, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to come around and we're going to build like this part of the body up over here on the right. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to draw like the middle of the jersey, basically. So remember, it's going to be kind of turned a bit. So it's going to be kind of this curved line coming around like this. So let's start where we want to have it. I'm going to have my, my line's going to start like right about here. So I'm going to come down. Sorry if my hand's in the way. I'm going to come down. I'm going to twist a little bit. I'm going to come like this. Just kind of put this line in there right now. So now that you have that, I'm going to continue on this line. And I'm going to build up like this. And kind of make this kind of a shape right now. So it's like a big U. Sorry for my sketchy lines. I was trying to give you a little bit of view while you're drawing on there. All right, so now I'm going to come in. I'm going to add the sleeve. So we're going to build the spot up piece by piece. So now I'm going to come up to the chin. So here's our chin. So I'm going to kind of draw this line kind of where his mouth starts. So I'm going to come out and I'm going to make this like a little bit of a line like that. So this is going to be the start of our sleeve. So I'll give you guys a second to catch up on that while I have a sip of coffee. What's really fun about when you're watching this, if you're watching this on YouTube or any of the other channels, you can always like pause this and kind of rewind if maybe if I spoke too fast or something. So feel free to do that. All right. So now that we have this part of that body there and this top of the sleeve, let's go and let's add like the inside part of the sleeve where like the arm comes out. So here I'm just going to continue and I'm just going to build like that little bit of a shape. 
So basically, I just kind of came down, and then I stopped a little bit and curved it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is on this side, I'm going to take a little bit of space, and I'm just going to make this a little bit of like a curve, a kind of like a comma right there. You can see what I did. See that little comma I put on the bottom right, right there? That's going to be like where the arm's going to pop out. And then I'm just going to connect it up here. So you can start to see what happened. something, right? So this is the side and that's the sleeve. Then right here on this side, I'm going to add another little line. Just like this right there. So that's going to be like the side of his jersey. He's doing that twist. All right. So... Let's come over on the other side right now. And we're gonna add in that other part of that jersey here. So in this part of the body, it's gonna I'm gonna draw it a little smaller than I drew this part of the body because it's like kind of coming out, it's like in the background a little bit. Let me show you what I mean. So first thing, I'm gonna take kind of like on the other side of his mouth, I'm gonna draw this like kind of like a curved line just like that. So this part, this is like the neck of the jersey a bit. And just so you can see it, I'm gonna fill that in with a little black. Kind of fill it in so you can see it better. All right. So now I'm going to come to like the top part of this little bend, bend, bend that I made. And I'm going to come out with this bump like that. See, so that's going to be like the back part of his sleeve. And then I'm just going to connect it and fill it in like this, just like that right there. So if you were to look at it, you can see it's like his arm is out in the front and this arm's in the back a little bit. So that's why I like the, the jersey looks like that. All right. So now let's add in this hand right here. So this is kind of like the look that we're going to have right here. So if you've seen my other drawing classes, we talk about this a bit too. So when you draw an arm, you know, it's like, so there's your elbow and like your muscles back here. So your arm is like wider towards your elbow and then it thins out when you get to your wrist. So it's kind of kind of like this, like gets better and then skinnier. So that's what we're gonna do with here too. All right, so I'm gonna come up on the top right there. Oh, hey, Daikon. <laughs> My dog just walked in. <laughs> so I'm gonna come up at the top right here and I'm not gonna connect it all the way. I'm just gonna come down like right to about this part right here. Just like right there. So I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna draw that bump. And then I'm gonna drop it in like that. Daikon came in to say hi, my little chihuahua. <laughs> All right, there we go. So that's our top thing. So now I'm gonna draw the same shape, but on the bottom basically. So again, so I'm just gonna come down a bit and I'm gonna like add that bigger line. It's going to come in like this. So you can start to see we're starting to get our arm, right? All right, so let's talk about like how, so we're going to have, I'm only going to throw three fingers in this motion right here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the thumb. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to the end of our hand, right? That's where our thumb's going to be. And I'm going to come up a bit and I'm going to make that bump. I'm going to kind of make this like, little sausage kind of shape a little bit. So just a little thumb right there. Just kind of like as you know, you could see that a bit. Then I'm going to come up on the top part of my hand. I'm going to continue this line up. And we're going to add one finger like this. And then another finger at the top. So now I kind of have this like claw kind of shape on there. So I love studying pitches. So if anybody knows what kind of pitch this is, maybe it's like a like fastball he's going to be throwing there. Anyway, so now that we have here, what were we missing? Oops, we're missing our baseball, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of fill in our shape right here of like where a baseball would be. As so you can see, like right there, I got one. See it right there? Now, if you draw this later, you can like be really interesting with it. You can have like a piece of pizza in his hand or like a briefcase or something. <laughs> kind of fun. And then I'm just gonna put these two little curved lines on the side right there, just to, sh to like make our stitches. And then I'll add a couple little bumps in there for our stitches. 
nothing too crazy. I just put them in there just for a little bit because it's not a whole lot of, it's not a major part of our drawing. So that's kind of our arm right there. All right. So let's draw that other arm right now. So this arm, it's kind of like, it's bent in. So like I'm throwing it and our wrist is going to be kind of like bent a little bit. So let me show you what I mean. So we're going to come up right here and I'm at the top of our, our sleeve here. I'm going to make my line. Again, it's a little fatter at the top and skinnies out towards the end. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom, but I'm just gonna, I'm not going to connect it directly to the sleeve of the jersey. I'm going to come out a little bit, like right about here. And I'm just going to take it and I'm going to bend down like that. So you can see, again, it's like a little bit fatter towards, towards the towards that part there, the elbow, <laughs> brain for it, towards the elbow and then it kind of skinnies out as we get to the wrist. All right, so now what I'm gonna do at the wrist here, I'm just gonna take like a, like a half circle kind of thing. I'm just gonna add that to the end right there. So this is gonna be kind of like our, our glove. So now that we have that shape, that little circle there, I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna make our glove. So. I'm just going to add that shape and then I can describe a little bit better what it is. So our glove is bent here. So what I did is I came out on the side and I made this line here. Then I curved down and came around with a smile, a little smiley line right there and connected it right there. Now on this side here, the glove, it kind of has like um, these little bumps for the, like that other part of the side. So I'm just going to draw, I'll draw one bump right there. And then I'll put another little bump on there too. So this is not our MLB regulation glove. <laughs> it's our class, right? We're having fun. <laughs> Bump it in. And then right here, right where the wrist is, I'm gonna put a little, a little uh, square. Now that's kind of like that, that part of the glove where you can kind of see where the hand is, right? So if you wanted to get really detailed with the glove, you can absolutely do that. I'm just gonna kind of leave mine just like that so you kind of can see what it is. All right, so we're almost done here. So now let's go and let's add our legs. So the legs, you can see they're like, he's doing like a big stride, right? So all the weight is on this leg here. And what I mean by that, you see how like my shoe, it's like, this is where the toes are. And it's like, that's digging into the ground and this is coming up. So all, so this is like where he's putting the most pressure. And then this is, this leg's like up in the air, like it's throwing. So. I'm pointing that out because we're just going to make this leg like really straight and this one's going to have a little bit of a bend. So this is a lot easier to draw than you would think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up right here on the left and I'm just going to draw like a, a big line, like a big U basically, or a long rectangle. So I'm going to come up right here and I'm just going to draw that. I'm going to come down like this and then connect like right over here. What's really fun about drawing like pictures, for example, it's, it's kind of like a dance they're doing, right? With like those big long strides with their arms throwing and such. So one day we could do, if you have like, man, if you had like a really long piece of paper, you could really exaggerate like how long his arms are and, and, and legs are and such. So you see how excited I got? Maybe we'll do that later. <laughs> All right, cool. So now that we have that leg right here, let's go in and let's add that shoe in. So the shoe, I'll show you here. We're going to make a fun shape. So it's kind of like this like circle that comes around and then connects it there. I'll show you this. That's kind of, that's what we're going for. And I'm going to show you how to draw that. All right. So this is our leg, right? So I'm going to come down. Sorry if you can't see here, it's an odd angle, but I'll, I'll, I'll zoom in on for you. So I'm going to come down and I'm going to draw this like little circle like this kind of. So it's not like a circle, it's kind of like a fancy C, like the letter C, right? So that's where our toes are. And then right here, I'm going to come in and I'm going to connect it like that. So I guess this is like, kind of like the letter J almost, like really fancy like a wedding invite or something, right? <laughs> so now I'm gonna do the same kind of shape, but opposite on the other side of the shoe. So I'm just gonna come up from our pants, bend it there and connect it like that. So now I'm gonna come around on the bottom and add this little bit of a detail. 
just like that. So you can see it's kind of like the sole of the shoe. And then I'm going to draw these little, these are my pen messed up. I'm going to draw a little bit of these little, um, like kind of like rounded rectangles in a way. I'll put those on the shoe right there. So not as clean clad as my other one, but you can see like we got a little bit of our shoelaces there and our shoe. Not bad. All right. So before I forget, let's add like our belt buckle here. So like right here, I'm going to add my, I'm just going to put a little, trying a little square and I'm connect right here with just a darker line to make his belt. There we go. All right. So now that we have that, let's go and add that other leg. So we're going to do a similar thing that we did to the other end. So I'm going to come up here on the top where we just drew our belt. See that like kind of a line. And I'm going to come down and I'm going to make a very similar shape, just like this. So I kind of drew that line in there. And then I'm going to come over here, here and I'm going to come in again. I'm just going to make it like kind of wide, make it a little bit thinner when he gets to his ankle. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like mine. All of ours are going to look a little different. So again, you can see we kind of have like this is the leg and this leg's coming up a bit. So let's go ahead and let's draw in our shoe. So this shoe is a little different because it's kind of like flying in the air. So I'm going to come over into the bottom part of our pants here. And I'm going to draw this kind of shape. So another, we're drawing a lot in shades today, right? So it kind of came down. This is the heel. And then it comes around and this is our toes. And then I'm going to come up and I'm going to connect it like this. So we kind of have that little motion there. And then on the bottom, I'm going to add another little bit of that sole. There we go. All right. So right now, this looks like Johnny Pitcher. It could be anybody, right? So let's make it look like it's our man, right? Or Jacob deGrom. So I'm going to write Mets right here. So there's a lot of ways you can do this. But what's really fun with this is remember that our body is like tilted a bit. So I'm going to draw my M is going to be cut off a little bit. And then it's going to come around like this. So I'm going to write my bubble. Sorry, my, my brush pen is kind of losing its luster a little bit. There we go. So let's come down like that. So I'm going to draw a little bit of my M. So this is cool too. So this is when you can like really decorate your jersey. Like if you really like the, oh man, like the away jersey where it says New York, you can totally do that and draw Mercury Mets jersey. It's a fun little side note. And I'm just drawing Mets in there. I don't know if you guys have seen, but you can get those Mercury Met jerseys, they have them for sale now on Mitchell and Ness's website. It's the Piazza one, which is kind of fun. So I might, I might pick one of those up. <laughs> Classic. All right. So now we got our Mets right there. But again, we still don't know who this is right now. So this is going to pick up number, which is 48. So I'm going to put that right here. So let's put that in the number four. And let's put in that eight right there. So I'm just making these like bubble letters in there. And again, there's no right or wrong way to do this. You can kind of put it however. So this is pretty much our drawing that we have right there. So let's go ahead and color it in. So just using my regular old crayons right here. And I'm just going to color in these parts of it. So I'm going to make my jerseys going to be like the pinstripe one. So again, if you want to have the black jersey or a gray jersey or something like that, you can totally go in and you can add that. It's a lot of fun ways to do this. So as I'm coloring this in there, let's talk to you guys. How's it going today? How's it feel? You guys, uh, where you're drawing from? Like I, I love to say this every time. It gives us a little, little fanciness to our class right here. We have people from all over the world drawing, which is pretty neat. Uh, people from Milan and and Japan and Australia, locally, New York, Long Island, all that fun stuff, the tri-state area. My friends down in New Jersey. Give a couple shout outs. I got my man, John drawn. Bushwick, or bed -Stye. How you doing, John? Pop that in there right there. And I'm, what I'm doing here is I'm just like taking my crayon and adding a little orange around there. But again, you can kind of draw this anywhere. 
like I said, I love those pinstripes. So I'm just add those little lines right in there. So if you're drawing pinstripes like me, it's good to just kind of like, you want to follow the lines. So follow the shape of that body, right? So our jersey is kind of, it's bent this way, right? And now our sleeve comes this way. And do the same thing with the pants. But yeah, so let, let us know how you guys been keeping busy. I love seeing all the drawings you make. This would be a fun one to add like a background. You know, if you get bored later, you can maybe have like a stand, like a, he's throwing on the mound. You know, maybe you can have people in the background. That'd be kind of fun. This is a, a really fun one. You can go with it. What's really cool about this is I, the reason we drew them like this is because you can make this look like any picture you want, right? So you can have it like longer hair, you can change the number and it doesn't necessarily have to be like Jacob deGrom, you know, this is kind of like a, a generic kind of pose that you could throw on there. So like, it'd be fun if everyone pops in there, you can draw all your favorite pictures from the courses of history. Put that in there, I'll take a little black here, add that in for a glove. It's really fun. So. Guys, thanks for coming along. Awesome that we got to draw again today. All that fun stuff. All right, let's get that in there. So like, if you've been to my class before, you'll always hear me say this. What's really fun about crayons is you do not have to be perfect. It's a really fun kind of tool. You can just throw that in there and have some fun, right? So don't worry if it's outside the lines and stuff, it looks cool. All right. So like we say all the time here, you want to sign your drawing, right? You work so hard on it. It looks amazing. You don't want anybody to steal it and be like, look at my drawing. I drew that. No, no, no. I drew it. So you want to take credit for it. So let's sign and let's date it. So I like to sign mine on the bottom right here. So I'll put it right under a shoe. A little Herm right there, a little smiley face. Yay. And then let's date our drawing today. So today is April 24th. We got my calendar up there so I can totally see it. And what's really great about dating your drawing is if you continue to draw, and this is something you really love, it's a good way to see how much better you've gotten, how much you've progressed, you know, maybe maybe you got better at drawing a face or the arms and stuff. So years from now of drawing, you can look back and be like, ah, you know, on this day it was okay, but on this day it looks even better. But yeah, so here you go. Thanks for sitting with me for this time here. Thanks for drawing Jacob deGrom with me. Uh, it was a lot of fun. You guys make my day so much better. Thank you so much for coming along. And I want to see your drawings. You know, we're, we're sitting here, we can chat, right? But I want to see how beautiful everything is. So let's see it. So you get my handy dandy hot dog right here. So if you want to tag your drawing and hit me up, I'm on Instagram at Herm Herman. This is the best way to get me. I'm always on Instagram. <laughs> it's, um, it's an addiction. It's fun. Uh, if you want, if you if you prefer Twitter, you can get me there at HerbsTerms.com. Someone had taken Herm Herman, so that's all right. We make do with what we got. And please, let's tag this seven line too. And what we'll do is this is a good way we can kind of see everybody's drawings. And I always promise I'll always comment, I'll always repost, and I'd just love to see what everyone's drawings are. Uh, and then if you wanted to see my website here, see some of my other kind of illustration work, you can go to HermsTerms.com and check that out. Uh, you, there will also be links to uh, some of the other interviews I've done. And also, if you forget, uh, our, our class with .com, our class with herm.com link is on my website, too. So it's a nice kind of stop to get everything there. Anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. I love you to death. You're amazing. Can't wait to see your drawings. And we will see you next week. All right. Bye, guys. See you soon.